rose ceremony and it's just literally so nerve-wracking. Last time I was one of the last ones to get a rose, so. Hey ladies. Hey. I want you all to know how grateful I am to be here today. It's gonna be really hard to send some of you guys home tonight because I've really uh, gained a connection with all of you. I'm gonna miss you ladies, but all I could ask for is love. Preston, there are three ladies left and only one rose. It's time for you to make your final decision. I didn't come here to get heartbroken. Like, I really thought me and Preston had like a deep connection. For my final decision, I choose the ridge. I'm Wade Ogden, and I'm a swimmer here at Sky Ridge. I started when I was five years old, so I've been swimming for 13 years now. Um, I started because all the other sports I tried, I, I run hot, so I, I had to swim because it was the only sport that I could stay cool during. Some core things that swimming has taught me is how to reach goals, set and reach goals. Another thing it's taught me is dedication. It takes a lot of dedication, early, early mornings and late, late nights, swimming and just pushing yourself and trying to be the best you can be. Some accomplishments I have are, last year at High School State, I got second in the men's 100 breaststroke and third in the men's 100 IM. And then we took first in our um, 400 freestyle relay. This year I hope to do just as well, if not better. I'm trying to win the 200 IM this year. I've stuck with swimming because my friends in, on my swim team keep me going. They really like inspire me. We kind of build each other up and try to keep each other in check. Um, if you're thinking of joining SWIM 100, 100, 100%, I would do it. It's such a great way to make friends. Some of my longest lifetime friends are from swimming. It's a great way to learn life lessons, great exercise, so much fun when you're competing and you just have all this great energy. I love it so much. So yes, if you're thinking about it, 100%, do it. I'm Wade Ogden and I'm a swimmer here at Sky Ridge.
Hi, my name is Trevor Wyatt, and I'm going to teach you how to cuddle. With Valentine's happening just the other day, we found out that a lot of guys didn't know what to do in order to get some cuddle time with that special someone. So I'm here to help you break that ice and learn how to do it. All right, step one of four is you've got to sit down on the couch with you and your special person. Step two, make sure they're comfortable around you. Step three, now it's time to take that step. Now you gotta put your arm around them. Once you've done that, just grab a blanket and enjoy. Papa, 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 papa. Is this your yearbook? Yes, it is. I remember. I bought my yearbook for $65 before April 9th. After April 10th, prices are going up to $75. And on you, after yearbook day, prices are going up to $85. This is the best decision I've ever made. Buy your yearbook today. What do you love most about yourself? Um, I love my laugh. I love my eyes. I feel empathy for others. I can pride on making other people smile. Um, I love how I have such a big heart. My energy. My personality. My eyes. My sense of humor. I try to find the positivity in everything. I would tell someone that needs more self-confidence um, to just love themselves for who they are. You're not alone. Just be yourself. There's no one else like you in the world. That they are one of a kind. No one's judging you. Just be you. Just don't let the haters put you down. Your opinion matters and others don't. The problems you think that others notice, they it's not that big of a deal. Nothing else matters except for you. Hi, my name is Mia Mira, and I will be going on a date with one of these boys. But the twist is, is I will be picking who I'm going on a date with based on their moms. I will be asking a series of questions and through their answers, I will be deciding who I'm gonna go on a date with. Okay, first question. Describe your son in three words. Mm, nice, patient, and motivated. Okay. He is funny, driven, and super smart. Okay, my son is very athletic, very strong, and very self-driven. Self okay, the next question is rate your son's riz. On a scale of one to 10? Yes. Hmm, I would say a solid 7.5. Okay, <laughs> not too bad. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> Riz, he's never rizzed me, let's just say that. <laughs> okay. No, you gotta cool. rewind. Okay. I don't even okay. know what this is. What, what? I would rate my son probably a nine. He'll just give that look. Just the look. I like that. Okay, describe a date that your son would take me on. He would probably take you thrifting and maybe check out a cool restaurant and get some dessert. Um, one of his favorite things to do on a date is to go bowling at Thunder Alley. Yeah. For sure yeah. something like a treat, obviously, yeah. is involved at some point. Yeah. Go up to the canyon, go for like a hike, just pack a little picnic with like some hiking snacks. Yeah, I like those, okay. Based on these answers, I've decided which boy I wanna go on a date with. Drum roll, please. Mom number one. Yay! <laughs> so excited! I, the thrifting got me. <laughs> now we're gonna see who I'm gonna go on a date with. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this dating show. I'm so excited to go on a date with Evan. Let's go on this date. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh no. sorry. <laughs>